Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be discussing stability property of a system, and uh, we'll be take up, take, uh, uh, tackling a couple of examples to clarify our concept. Now, let's define stability. A system is said to be stable if and only if every bounded input, that is the finite input, results in a bounded output, that is the finite output. So if we have a system and we give bounded input, that is finite input, we should be getting finite output or bounded output if the system is stable. And that is why this type of system is also called BIBO system, that is bounded in, bounded out. Now, to start with, we assume two finite positive numbers, mx and my, mx for input and my for the output. And if the input signal xt satisfies this condition, that the magnitude of xt is less than this number that we have assumed mx, which is finite and which is obviously less than infinity. So, this is the finite input. And if we get an output yt that satisfies this condition, that is yt is less than another finite number my, which is less than infinity, so we'll call this as the output is also finite. Then the system will be called BIBO stable or simply stable system. Now let's take the first example here. So the first thing we'll do is that we'll take magnitude of on both sides. So the magnitude of the output and magnitude of the input. And this can be rewritten in this form, so which is less than or equal to magnitude of the individual components. And if we have a doubt, you can just follow this example. I have, I have done it for my understanding as well, that A plus B uh, magnitude will be less than magnitude of A and magnitude of B. And here I have given an example, and you can see that sum of the two is nine, and uh, the sum of a plus b is 8.87, so this condition satisfies. Okay, now if we separate the, uh, the uh, write the magnitude in terms of mx, so this is also mx and this is also mx, and therefore the output is less than or equal to 2mx, which is a finite number, Therefore, we can say that the output is finite or bounded as the system is stable. Next example, follow the same technique. This I'm repeating so that you remember that we have what is mx and what is my. So here also we take the magnitude, magnitude of this, magnitude of this whole can be taken as separately, magnitude of the first one, magnitude of the Second one, now the uh, magnitude of cosine is always one. This we are taking as mx, therefore we will put the less than uh, equal to sine. It is less than mx. And so again, the output is finite and hence the system is stable. Third point, following same technique, we can see that uh, the magnitude of this is the integration of the magnitude. And if we put in the value of x tau in this case, which is same as xt, so mx, the integral of mx dt, and this will be mx is a constant. We take it out, integral of d tau will be tau, putting these two limits and then putting their values, 2t minus minus infinity. And so this will be mx into 2t plus infinity. That means anything multiplied by infinity will be infinity. So this is less than equal to infinity. Now the less than is fine, but when it is equal to infinity, that means our system is unstable or not stable. So the system is not stable. 
fourth question uh, now this is less than zero or t less than zero so we just uh, ignore this we'll just consider the second part and we'll follow exactly the same technique then the output is zero for t less than zero we'll just consider the output for t greater than zero similar technique less than equal to the individual magnitudes which are actually this is also mx and this is also the uh, finite number mx so less than 2 mx which is finite therefore output is finite and therefore the system is stable this example was exactly same except for xt it is less than xt instead of a t but it does not make any difference in 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 our case we are following exactly same technique taking the magnitude and this is also a stable system then yt is xt by 3 apparently this is also we just take the magnitude this magnitude is less than mx and therefore the system is stable and finally yt dxt dt so if we uh, take dx dt and this this limit remains same uh, just from writing x1 t it is x should be xt but same we take the magnitude of this magnitude of this we're putting the value of xt as m so differentiation of a constant number that means it will be less than or equal to another constant number or constant value or finite value and therefore this is apparently bounded but there is a problem if our input xt is a unit step function like this then what will happen we know that the differentiation at this point will result in an infinity or impulse function so at t is equal to zero dx dt will be an impulse function which is unbounded and therefore we cannot say that the system is stable rather it is unstable system